Gripping on the comma, what a 211 in my mind Persuaded by the devil, gripping on my black Passing now, searching for what look that I can hit with murder in my soul Swinging bending corners in the 67 L code As we know the barrier barrier fruit is a paramecia type devil fruit that allows the user to generate barriers, making them a barrier human. The main strength of this fruit is that it allows the user to form invisible barriers, though they can be solidified to become visibly transparent, resembling a pane of glass. This protects the user from attacks from either front or back. Kurozumi Semimaru, the former user of this fruit, demonstrates that the barrier can also withstand an extremely powerful slash from someone as powerful as Kazuki Odin, a master swordman, whose sword could cut the mountain god. After the latest chapter, the barrier barrier fruit just became insanely more overpowered in my eyes. Even a beast like Odin can't break past it, the same dude who stood his ground against someone like Prime Whitebeard. I knew that Bara Bara no Mi's barrier was supposed to be unbreakable, but I always assumed it was some sort of hyperbole and with enough force you could get past it. And I was always a firm believer that strong enough hockey could bypass the effects of any devil fruit. This belief was because of the statement by Doflamingo during Punk Hazard with Law vs Virgo. Well the latest chapter demonstrates that Barrier Barrier Fruit can bypass the exceptional hockey of Odin, the same Odin who is about to wound and damage Kaido. This means that Bartolomeo is virtually untouchable, even top tiers can't probably do him anything if he surrounds himself. So how strong exactly is the Barrier Barrier Fruit? Could Kaido break it? And Prime Whitebeard, Prime Garp or Roger?